you watch Fox Crimes? No. Um, are you having a good time in Korea? Yes, very much so. Um, oh, ho, ho, ho. Don't know what's happening there. Okay. Why is your mask painted? So these are just the different colors that they're painted to look like it's porcelain under the stage lights. So there you go. Your Insta Live is always Q&A. Tell me about it. Uh, although that seems like you're unhappy with that. So if you have any other suggestions, uh, let me know. Hello, I speak a little bit Netherlands. Do you know what this means? Yes, 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 I do. Um, can I have a shout out, please? Shania. Shania! I, I hope that was worth it. Um, good. Do you wear a mask for Corona on stage? Think about that question. Let's, let, let's think about that question. Just let's think about that question, I think. How long does it take to get into, oh, here we go. How long does it take to get into makeup? An hour. What's your favorite song? Point of no return. What's your favorite costume? The suit. I want to actually put that up on, on, on like a permanent post so that before people come to the live, all the obvious stuff is out the way so we can really get to know each other because that's what I'm here for. I want you to do a concert in Korea. So do I. So do I. Um, you look good in white. Well, well, thank you. Thank you very much. Can you cry on command? If yes, how? I have such a sad life. Um, if you could be another character in Phantom, which one would you play? Probably Madame Giri. She's the only one who knows what's going on. I can die peacefully now. Well, um, if that's what it takes, great. Does the mask make you sweat on half your face? No, because I've got prosthetic as well underneath this. So, what's your favorite color? Purple. My mom loves to sing. She said one day she wants to perform with you. Cool. Cool. Um, people are writing in Korean. I'm hoping that that's all positive stuff. I don't know what it's saying, but I'm assuming it. How do you manage your physical strength? Sometimes it's hard, even when I'm sitting there watching a performance. Uh, go to the gym. Hang on, hang on. Paul Tabonia just asked me a question. What do you think is the song that you sing the best in your repertoire? Probably If I Loved You from Carousel. It's my audition song, and I... I just love D-flat. Yeah, lol. Um, means I love you. Okay, cool. Is that, is that Tsarang He? Is that, is that what that says? Tsarang He? Just let me know. Somebody, let me know. Um, it's all negative stuff in Korean. Oh, I see Phantom 123451 is a joker. Am I correct? You're one of those? Got it. Hello, all the way from Sri Lanka. Um, I want to hear that. Okay. Okay, well, we'll see what we can do, because Claire wants to sing it as well, so we'll see. Um, have you ever been hurt by a close per person like the Phantom? If you have, did it help? Woo! Now, here is a good question. The, um, the short answer is yes. Um, the long answer is, last year, I, I fell in love. And I really had my heart like genuinely broken. And um, I, I didn't expect it. It wasn't one of those things that I, I saw coming, but uh, yeah, um, it, it did help play the Phantom actually. Um, different aspects that I'd never ever wondered. Before it was always, oh, the sadness and, and, and all that, but it was also the joy that he felt whenever he was around Christine, you know, that sort of madness that you feel when you're in love and you've got somebody with you. Um, yeah, it helps. What made you become a musical actor? I just love the theatre and wanted to be in it. Well, be part of it. I want to see more pics in Hanbok. You look so great. If I can find Hanbok that fits me, I'll get into it, I promise. Are you staring on the show? I think you're saying, am I, in, am I in the show tomorrow night? That's the plan. That's the plan. Do you have any suggestions for focus on stage, please? Figure out what your character wants. Um, what made you start the musical? An auction, I think. Um, are you superstitious? Mm, I used to be, not anymore. Um, 
don't you eat between day and night performances? Yes, I do. I already have. Still curious on how Korea can do this musical and the world has to shut down. How do you guys do it? Okay, Chris, so, two things. Number one, Google Korea Trace Track Method. Number two, check out uh, any of the social media uh, accounts for this production. There are three videos uh, explaining how we do it and what we are doing. Um, please check those out. It's, it's, it's very interesting viewing. Do you have a dream you want to achieve beyond your job? I want to be on Broadway. Yes, I do. And I'm, I'm, I'm not going to keep it inside anymore. I'm going to tell the world I want to be on Broadway. I want to be the first South African phantom on Broadway. That's it. How did you get the British accent? I don't have a British accent, but um, this is actually South African, but I just, I have a respect for vowels. <laughs> Your performance in Handful of Keys is still one of the best. Wow, that was, a, that was a long time ago. Thanks, Callum. Um, yeah, Love Changes Everything is wonderful. Um, tell me the story behind the album. I'm assuming you mean um, uh, the My Lloyd Webber album. Um, I, I had that black, the premiere connection, the, the, the black cover of the Andrew Lloyd Webber um, songs. Um, and uh, I think I know who Phantom 123451 is now. It's just made sense to me with these questions. Oh dear, um, I think, I think. Um, so the album, um, it's, it's, it's one thing I've always wanted to do because I do a lot of Andrew Lloyd Webber musicals and I have done a lot of Andrew Lloyd uh, Webber musicals and um, I wanted to do my own versions of certain songs and so we just decided to do it. We got an orchestra in and I had a wonderful arranger called Brian Schimmel who worked with me on that and um, got an album called My Lloyd Webber simply because all of my favorite artists have a Lloyd Webber album. So this was my Lloyd Webber album, if you know what I mean. You can... I can't remember his name, but I remember he was a bit of a problem the last time um, in terms of food. If it's not, forget about it, Phantom 123451, but some of your questions are very similar to someone else I had to uh, uh, distance myself from because of inappropriate stuff. Hope you play Jekyll and Hyde someday. Oh, now you're talking. Jekyll and Hyde, top of my list. Um, who's the person you're closest to? Uh, probably, I've got friends at home that I'm closest to. You should put your music on Spotify. No, no, because then I can't, I can't make sure that it's, it's kept in, in, in the right form. I've heard that Ramin hugs you whenever he sees you. Is that true? No. Um, did you find frozen puff pa pa pastry? Yes, I did. Thank you. A foreign foods market. So uh, it, was, it was brought to the theatre. Thank goodness. Do I miss Biltong? Of course I miss Biltong. But there's a South African restaurant here. And the minute we're allowed to go back to that area, I'm getting myself some Biltong. I'll tell you that. Um, in Phantom of the Opera, there's a doll bride. Is it made by Eric for Christine? No, it's made for Eric because he's, it's made by Eric because he's lonely without Christine. Um, what puzzle are you doing these days in your dressing room? I don't have one. I don't have one. Dream roles on Broadway. Hmm. Besides Phantom, obviously. Um, probably, I'd want to do Scar in The Lion King. I'd want to do Billy in Chicago. Um, I wouldn't mind a crack at Jafar in Aladdin. Um... Mm. What else is playing? Mm. I'll give it a th I'll give it a think. What makes you cringe? Um, people who take liberties on social media um, because they think that because they've seen a show or they paid a ticket to see you in a show that they can just be overly familiar and disrespectful to you. I think that's way too it's way out of line for me. Have you bought any Funkos recently? No, because I can't find any in Korea. Um, if you were to star in Book of Mormon, which character would you play? There's no role for me in Book of Mormon, I'm afraid. Oh, another one I want to do is King George in Hamilton. That would be amazing. Why villainous roles? Because I, I'm very good as a villain, apparently. Lol. Uh, what's Phantom's cape made of? Is it velvet? No, it's actually like a satin with um, some very fine black beadwork on it. It's beautiful. Uh, have you been to Taiwan before? Yes, I have. I was there with Evita about two years ago. Why are you wearing the same tee every day? You always wear... Oh, it's gone. Oh, well. Um, 
what do you think about Phantom in Love Never Dies? I don't know. I, I, I don't understand. Are you going to watch Hamilton on Disney Plus? No, I saw it live. I saw it live. Hmm? And I just spilled. What the hell happened there? Um, you're the best. F oh, that's very kind of you. Cool. Um, you, oh, uh, Madeline, see one Madeline's sister wants to marry me. Cool. All right. Be my villain and steal my heart, please. Well, there's, there's action apparently. Oh, well. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, does anybody out there know where Funkos are available? Obviously, I've been... So, before you answer this question, please understand I'm not the sort of person that just asks without trying. I've obviously been to an e-mart. I've obviously been to a, a shopping mall before. I'm saying a store that would bring them in, sort of thing. Be my villain and beat me up, please. Jesus. Hello, Karen. How, how long is the show running? Uh, we are, we've extended until the 8th of August here in Seoul. And then we go to Daegu after that for, for a few weeks. You have a dog in South Africa? No, I don't. No, I don't. I can't. I'm, I travel all the time. Are you into superheroes? Of course I'm into superheroes. Deadpool. That's my superhero. Um, do you like surprises? It really depends. It, 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 it really depends. Not Panko, Funko, Funko Pops. Um, have you met any Korean celebrities? Not yet. They're not allowed backstage, so yeah. Sunsets or sunrise? Sunset, definitely. Iago, interesting. Interesting, okay. What's theatre like over there with COVID? Again, please go and Google career trace track method and then go to our social media accounts for this production and check out the three videos that are on there explaining exactly what we're doing. It, it's really worth seeing. Dogs or cats, both. Not Fango, Funko, F-U-N-K-O. Have you tried MBTI test? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I'm so sorry. Least favorite city on the world tour. I mean, what? Why would I? That's a trap question. That you and you know that. Lol. When did you think you wanted to be a musical actor? When I realized how much I enjoyed it. To be honest. Um, the I Park Mall. Uh, yes, I've been to the I Park Mall. No, not there. Can you share the place where you buy frozen puff pastry? Uh, it was a, a foreign foods market or something. I, I, I can't remember. Uh, what point is exactly attracted? I'm assuming what do I enjoy about Funko? It just reminds me of my childhood, to be honest. What is your favorite movie? Uh, probably Mrs. Doubtfire for nostalgia. How did quarantine for the cast work? Were you allowed to go out and buy, f to buy and eat food? Well, obviously not, because if you're in quarantine, you can't leave. So we were in quarantine, like everybody else, uh, for two for two weeks. You know, we got groceries delivered, and that was that. Um, Kyobo Mungo, maybe in what does that mean? Oh, is that the books? Is that the bookstore? Kyobo books. Um, are you trying to focus on your hand movement or gesture? I was very impressive. Okay. Um, holiday plans after Daegu? No. Is the COVID test painful? Uh, I wouldn't say it's painful. It's, it's, it's not comfortable. They have to swab you here and in your throat. So pretty much like you see on TV. Um, which... Uh, what's the name of the Oriental costume? Do you mean the Mandarin coat that I wear? Will you ever perform I Am So Proud again? No, probably not. There's, there's not much of an audience for that. The green clothes. I'm, 
confused. Goguma Zhang, the green clothes. What do you What are you meaning? Of all the songs in your repertoire, which three would you say are the most technically challenging to sing? <laughs> Such a broad question. Um, all songs are technically difficult, you know, depending on where you are. How do I regain the trust of my high school? Oh, I definitely know who you are. Yep, last one I'm reading. Um, is there a role you want to play again? Mm, no, funnily enough, no, maybe Sweeney, maybe Sweeney Todd, yeah, that would be, that would be it. You're such a, do you still play the piano? Yes, of course, I've got a piano right here, actually. Um, I play it regularly. Um, I do miss playing a piano in a show, that would be cool. Um, yeah. Does your phantom know that half face is handsome? I feel that way. Uh, yes, because he's making himself deliberately look attractive, or at least what he thinks is attractive. So, yeah. What's your favorite fruit? Probably apples. Any musical theater roles you wish you could play but can't? Oh, the genie in Aladdin. Oh my God. Would you play the Joker if given the option? Are you kidding? Of course, that's amazing. Um. What's your favorite song to play on the piano? Probably Rhapsody in Blue at this point. Um, yeah. No, 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 no. I, I think, can you rant, can you rant about how all, how annoying all it, can you rant? Oh, I see, I don't like that word. Sorry. Um, Shame, what are your thoughts on Will Smith's genie? Um, you know what? The poor, who wants to step into Robin Williams' shoes in that role? So, I mean, I felt bad for him. But um, I really enjoyed the, the aspect of adding a rap to it. That was cool. Um, favorite Queen song, Love of My Life. Hands down. Hands down. Um, yeah. Somebody's just giving me a hand, so I'm giving a hand again. What's something you think everyone should know about you? I don't think anybody should know anything about me. Nobody's obliged to know anything about me. I certainly don't have that entitlement. Um, I'm from Singapore. Thank you, and to you. Do you listen to Doja Cat? What is that? How do you feel about being the only phantom on stage in the world at the moment? You are right now the only phantom. Do you know what? Um, that's true. Um, I had this conversation with Claire the other day. She and I are literally the only Phantom and Christine in the world. The last time that happened was Michael Crawford and Sarah Brightman. So it's, it makes me a bit nauseous to think about it because it's, it's almost too much pressure. And I feel really guilty about that because I know that there are lots of people out there who should be on stage as the Phantom, you know, Broadway, London, um, US tour, UK tour. And it, this whole thing has just screwed everybody up. So, yeah. Next time come to Korea again, the Phantom of the Opera you want. <clears throat> Scratching my forehead in his mask. Uh, I, I don't understand, I'm sorry. What's your South African soul food? A braai. Have you seen Crawford live? Yes, I saw him in The Wizard of Oz when he was the wizard, which was amazing. Why the clock behind you is not correct? It's because it's backwards. <laughs> Think about it, it's backwards, it's the mirror view, because it's a selfie mode that I'm doing this live on. Come on guys, we have this argument every time about why does the mask change positions? Um, would you be open to the idea of playing a part in a movie or a series? No, I've tried it, it's not my thing. Have you ever had paranormal experiences like you saw Eric's ghost? No, no. Have I ever heard K-pop songs all the time downstairs because uh, Ali, one of the, the ladies in the wardrobe, loves K-pop? And she listens to it all the time. How can you change wig to wig that fast? Where? You mean when it comes off? Is your mask custom made like everyone else's? Does it not look like that? It uh, it really, it certainly, I, I've never seen one of these available in the stores before. Um, it's, it's kind of part of the, the whole uh, copyright of the show. Yeah, it would have to be because what are the odds of finding a mask that you bought in a store 
that would be able to fit over my particular shaped face with a prosthetic on it and a wig. It would have to be custom. Where does the mask go, left or right? Right, always right. It's always the right side. If it's looking different to you, it's because this is a mirror image because we're doing a Facebook Live. Lord above. Um, it, it, you know what's amazing though? Is we all have smartphones. We all do selfies. But the minute we see a video, we assume that it's in normal mode. We never ever take into account the selfie mode on other people, only with us. Isn't that weird? It's bizarre. Would you prefer wearing a full phantom mask with like over the, the, the top? Um, no, because you, you have no expression, it's just the mouth. Would you ever perform The Boy From Oz again? I've never performed The Boy From Oz, I'd love to. Um, which Disney prints are you? Uh, probably Flynn Rider, because he's a smart ass, to be honest. Can I buy the Phantom Mask only at the concert hall? Well, you can get it on eBay or, um, uh, what's it, Amazon. Are you allowed to take a prop home after the world tour? No? What else, what else, what else? Prince Charming. No, I'm definitely not a Prince Charming, I can tell you that. Um, advice for young South African actors. Stop assuming that overseas is better. And, and, and please stop using the term world class because that implies that we, we aren't even worth being in the world in South Africa. Do you know what I mean? Oh, wow, that was really world class, our audiences say surprised, you know, in a surprised way. Uh, what does world class even mean? That it deserves to be in the world? Crazy. We would be friends in real life. We are friends in real life, though. Like it's Insta official. Um, thoughts on Shrek? Thoughts on Shrek? Um, I, I think he's a great guy. Um, or do you mean, now hang on, hang on, before we, before we make jokes, do you mean the musical or the film or the character as if it was real? Over to you. What do you think is the reason you're good at villains? Um, my innate boredom at good people, I'm assuming. I wanted to ask you, is the sign you and the others make with your fingers, your thumb and index finger, what does it symbolize? Please answer, then I'll leave the love. Don't, don't, don't leave the love. Um, this, I'm assuming you mean this. This is a, this is a Korean heart. And it basically, it look, if you look at the outline of it, it actually looks like a heart. So, yeah. Tell Miss Caitlin that I have a huge crush on her and she's so amazing. I think you should tell her. Leave this live and go to her profile and tell her that. I, I think that would mean the world to her. Thank you. Do you watch Lucifer on Netflix? I'm literally watching it at the moment when I get ready in, into my makeup every night. Villains are more fun to play than heroes. Amen. Amen, Andrew J. Fellows. Which friend's character relates to you? Oh, I'm Chandler. I'm a smart ass. I really am. Oh, you are sweating. It must be hot there. Uh, it's not that it's hot there. Um, I am in full prosthetic and wig. You, you must understand, my, my, my face is essentially vacuum sealed. Um, I am a steak. Have you been to Taiwan? Yes. Uh, I went there two years ago, three years ago, with Evita. do we have here? What's the time? Well, come on. Literally hanging, it's, it's starting to feel awkward. Take a chance on me. I mean, tempting. Would you shovel in, in? Oh, yes. Is that the, is, if I'm correct, is that Falcon in the Dive? Uh, opera, opera ghost posting. Is that Falcon in the Dive? Is that what you're talking about? How do you feel when you walk onto the stage during a curtain call? Um, 
it's it's really it's an amazing feeling um yeah especially in this role what role did you play in evita <laughs> i was che i was che have you met sierra no and i hope to never meet her because i'd probably make such a fool of myself i'd i'd be a, an idiot um yes welcome in the dive fantastic What else, what else, what else? What do you do right before you get on stage? I actually have a, a long joke, um, and I, I, I usually just talk a lot of nonsense with Benny, who's one of our wonderful um, members of our crew, who helps me into the mirror. Can you sing a short clause from Mamma Mia? Okay, um, where's the girl? Yes, I like where's the girl as well. How many Disneylands have you visited? Okay, let's have a look here. Japan, Hong Kong, Shanghai. I think that's it. Yeah. Would you do Les Mis? No. Thank you, though. Could you please play the piano for the fans during your Insta Live someday, pretty please? Do you know what the problem is? If you don't mic it properly and you don't get the right equipment, it just looks like somebody's just doing a, a, a crappy little video like everybody else. It's, it's made it so unspecial. What I think is amazing are these people who are spending a lot of time and really setting things up so that it's beautifully presented because it keeps the prestige of what we do up there for everybody else. Um, yeah, I hope you understand what I was trying to say. Siv, no. Those, those days are long gone. Those days are long gone. I've had to let go of that dream. Don't know what that was. That was... What do you do on Monday? I generally pray to see Tuesday, um, depending on how tired. Ah, 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 okay. Any thoughts on Harry Potter and the Cursed Child? Easily. One of the most transcendent experiences I've ever had. I, I do believe in magic, but I saw it. I saw it at the Lyric Theatre. Oh my God, that was amazing. Beetlejuice the musical, incredible. Alex Brightman, I'll, 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 I'll do anything. He's, he's just amazing. Is it difficult to walk around when you're wearing the contact lens? No, because I wear it in my eye, not on my leg. And... I, I can see through it because it has a hole in it. In fact, shall I show you what the contact lenses look like? So this is what it sits in, lol. And if you look carefully, I'm just gonna, I'm trying not to spill now, but I probably will. You can see it floating in there, that little white thing there. Do you see the hole in it? I can see through that. So that's cool. Sam and the musical ghost. <laughs> no, not for me. Not for me. Not after I saw Ryan Fleischman. I never ever want to play that role. It's his. No one's better than him. End of story. Um, oh, I want envy that you visit to Disneyland. Go! It's amazing. It's worth it. So, yeah. Now I'm just staring down at the screen. Okay. Will you ever perform as Sweeney Todd? I don't know if they're going to do it again. Do you have any favourite musical theatre composers other than Frank Wildhorn and Andrew Lloyd Webber? <sighs> Hold my beer. Stephen Sondheim, Jason Robert Brown, Cy Coleman, um, Wayne and Casey Fitzpatrick. I'm crazy about their stuff at the moment. Um, Janine Tesori, uh, incredible. Uh, Adam Gettle, um, Pasek and Paul. Uh, like, I can go on. I haven't even started on the Golden Age. Do you like Mickey Mouse? Yes, I do. Um, collect a lot of those Funkos, actually. What do you want to play a character sometime? I need a bit more information with that question. Happy to answer it, but I just need a bit more information. In what? How are we doing for time? Another 10 minutes. If you wear the lens in one eye, doesn't it affect your vision since it's not in your other eye? No, because it's not fully obstructed. What's your favorite ride from the Disneyland you visited? Mine is Haunted Mansion. Can I tell you? Uh, there was there was a similar thing to Haunted Mansion at, oh God, I have to think carefully now, where was it? I think it was Disneyland Hong Kong, where it was an old guy 
um, and, and a monkey assistant. That was amazing. Oh, and the Tron ride at uh, Shanghai Disney. <laughs> All the videos are like this and pictures of me because I was just too scared, but it was, it was really fast. Uh, after show ritual, I generally warm down and then I, uh, I make some tea, I put it in my flask and I go to the bus and I sit there like an old person waiting for their pension check. I was moved by your song. Well, I'm, I'm, it's my song, Andrew Lord Webber's song, but thank you. Conglish is, Conglish understand, not, so not easy, so, oh, okay, all right, well, I'll, I'll, I'll wait. Uh, Mystic Manor, thank you. That's it, Mystic Manor, Hong Kong Disneyland. Amazing. Yeah. Um, do you like roller coasters? Do you know what? I don't want to scream because then I lose my voice and I can't sing that night. So I say I don't, but deep down inside, I, 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 I have a crush on them, yeah. Was there a book or a movie that changed your life? Dead Poets Society. And I know that might seem a bit cliche, but I'd never cried in a film before. Well, I'd cried during E.T., but that was different. I'd never cried at something human. And when they stood on their desks and said, Captain, my captain, I was a mess. I cried into the carpet. We had a, a white Berber carpet in the lounge. I remember sobbing into the carpet. My gran was livid because there was snot all over it. Lol. Um, yeah, Andrew, it, when, when it does, go. Easy. Easy, easy. They're also changing Splash Mountain to a princess and the frog theme, which is going to be amazing. I prefer Universal Studio than Disneyland. I like Disneyland too, but I'm... A huge fan of Harry Potter. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna disagree with you there. Disneyland is my favorite place in the world. Uh, what do you do in your free time nowadays? I explore as much as I can within reason. We can't really, we still can't go to certain areas because we're restricted because of COVID. But uh, yeah. Um, do you ever get to the high note and music of the night and feel it's not going to be there? Yeah, sometimes um, if I haven't had enough sleep or if it's the last show of the week and I'm tired and I was screaming too much in the matinee, um, I can feel my cords swell, 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 and uh, I just, I just, I, I think, I think happy thoughts and I do a full Peter Pan and hope for the best. Which Disney theme park do you want to visit next? I probably want to go, go to uh, California. Yeah. Um, who's your favorite character in Disney? The genie. Who's your favorite musician? Uh, I've got to tell you, I'm going through a Bobby Darren phase at the moment. Crazy. Um, Brady Duck. Lol. Lol Kano. Um, what's a full Peter Pan? Uh, as in, think happy thoughts, any little day, think of Christmas, think of snow, you know, and they all have to think happy thoughts in order to fly. I have to think happy thoughts in order to hit the high note and music of the night. How do you keep the role of Phantom for Alex, first of all, hello, Alex. Um, how do you keep the role of Phantom fresh for yourself after doing it so many times? I give my, when I'm feeling it's a little bit dull, or not the role, me, when I'm feeling a bit dull, um, I give myself a keyword that I, I have to, I have angel cards and I, I pick a keyword and I color the performance with that particular word. It's a tip I, I had um, before. Um, Andrew J. Fellows, that's a deal. Um, I'm crazy, and the Club, for, Club 33, hello. How was it when you arrived at, in Korea? Uh, cold, uh, but stable, which is kind of the story of my life. Favorite character in Harry Potter? Ah, oh, Moaning Myrtle. God, she was fantastic. She's a whole, like, acrobatics thing on the taps. Brilliant. Um, do they usually have to audition to play the leading man on Broadway West End? Yeah. It's Broadway in West End. Just like any show. Would you like to be Phantom on Broadway or West End? Broadway. How did you fix the mask? Was it broken? Second favorite character after the genie, Stitch, because he's just a little shit. Oh, uh, you know what I mean. I can say that. It's my life. Um, yeah, I love Stitch. Um, cool. Five minutes, and then I'm gonna 
go and talk to the ladies in the wardrobe. Favourite type of coffee? I'm a little bit crazy about Delgona at the moment. Quite, quite enjoying that, but um, yeah. How do you like your tea? Rooibos, a decent amount of milk, and a spoon of honey. Amazing. Favourite Disney quote? Uh, ooh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Um, <laughs> which Hogwarts house do you belong to? I'm a Slytherin. Quite proud. Um, do you have any Stitch Pops? I have most of the Stitch Pops. I'm still missing the Stitch reading a book with the ducks. The Tiki Stitch. And apparently there's a new Stitch coming out dressed as Santa Claus. Desperate. The clock behind me does not seem to be losing time. It, uh, it's a mirror image. Don't forget. What gift do you like? Funkos. Do you think you would ever play Simba or Mufasa in The Lion King? Let's think about that question. If we look at all the characters who've played Simba and Mufasa, what's the one thing that they all have in common, common that I am not? That's why I don't think. Um, what's your favorite Christine costume? Oh, that's an interesting one. I think the Don one is, is pretty sexy. It's pretty good. Um, yeah. What else is happening here? How many spare phantom masks do you have? Uh, I've got about four. And no, nobody can get any because they're busy. Do you have any venomized Funko series? I don't yet. I haven't, I haven't collected the superheroes yet. Now, here's an interesting question. What would you tell your 18-year-old self? Uh, stop being so flippin' serious. Get over yourself. I know what you mean, but when I watched Lion King in Manila, the Simba on for my performance was Mexican. That was the Simba cover. It wasn't the Simba that they always cast. You understand what I'm saying. I'm just trying to, you know, respectfully. Marvel Comics or DC Comics? Marvel. It has to be Marvel. I mean, I know, I know you know, Superman and Batman, blah, blah, blah. blah. But Marvel is just... I'm actually watching all the Marvel movies now in order. And I, I really... It's amazing. Also, Stan Lee for the win. Ah, oh, that man. What else? What else? What Funko series do you want to collect next? Um, I want to get some rock stars now, actually. Because I've got the Freddie Mercury and the, and the Queen line. I've got Sledge. Um, I want to get Kiss. I want to get the rest of the Prince line. I've got an Elton John. Uh, yeah. Probably probably rock stars. Pokemon. There was, wasn't there a... They've just released, is it... Was it Charmander that I saw? The, t the 10 inch? Yeah. Uh, Phantom, one, two, three, four, five. I think let's change the subject very quickly. Uh, that, that, that line of wording is potentially quite offensive to a lot of people. So let's just, let's change, let's, let's have a new subject. I understand what you're asking, but I think if we dwell too much on it using that word, uh, it, it, it won't go, it won't go very well. So let's just, let's just move on. I hope you understand what I mean. I'm not being rude. I just, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, do you have tattoos? No, it makes it very difficult because then if you have a tattoo, then you have to cover it up and, no, 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 don't, don't be sorry. I'm just saying, let's just, you never know who, who might join the live at the last moment and then they get upset because they don't understand the context and just, it's easier. Um, favorite burger franchise. Can I tell you, there's a place down the road here called Pippet. Um, they do a double burger and their cheese fries are crazy. I can't, I, I can, I can have them like once every two weeks or so, but, uh, oh, so good. Do you still buy fungus in Korea? No, because I don't have them here. Which Marvel hero or heroine shaped your life? Probably the Hulk, because I had a horrendous temper as a child. Um, I didn't, I didn't control it, and I, 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 I acted out a lot. 
and the idea of Hulk being this uncontrollable force inside this this good man. I, he shaped a lot of uh, that. But overall, Tony Stark is just incredible. Just incredible. Um, favorite Avengers movie? I'd probably say Infinity War. Um, I really enjoyed that. You know, Endgame is Endgame, but Infinity War is really cool. Did you run to the nearest Funko store here in the Philippines? Uh, yes. Yes. All the time. Guilty pleasure. Funkos. Do you get a new mask after a certain period of time, or do they just refresh the ones you have? Well, sometimes they crack here, because it's a very weak po point design-wise, because as the Christine lifts the mask like that, it can crack there. You all got excited because you thought it was taking the mask off. Lol. Um, so yeah, they just, they, Tanya, fills it in, repaints it, and keeps them all used. Um, favorite scent? Um, the One by Dolce & Gabbana. Um, the, the, the brown one. Just amazing. Oh, that's my favorite one. Is there a musical you want to recommend to us, not Phantom of the Opera? Dear Evan Hansen, beautiful. Hades Town, incredible. Um, Beetlejuice, hysterical. Mrs. Doubtfire, I mean, hello. Yeah. Do you have any jinx? What's a jinx? Is that superstition? What is your best Cy Coleman song? Probably the museum song from Barnum, but. Uh, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna change that. Use what you got from the life. I really enjoy that. If you had a lightsaber, what color would it be? Purple. Definitely purple. Any opera ambitions? Funny you say that. Um, light opera and operetta certainly. Um, I'd love to do something at the Met. Um, but uh, Merry Widow, Thrippany Opera, Street Scene. Uh, those would be cool. Favorite artist? Um, I actually am. I'm, I'm quite a fan of um, Klimt. I really, I really enjoy that. Yeah. Well, thank you, subtleties. Uh, subtleties, my God. Um, yeah, this this is going to be top of the list all the time. But Sweeney Todd was a close second. Yeah. Would you play P.T. Barnum? In a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Did you enjoy The Greatest Showman? Yes, I did. Yeah. It made musicals sexy to younger generations, which means our audiences will be, you know, carrying on. Um, favorite year Evan Hansen number? Uh, Sincerely Me. That's great. I laughed out loud when I saw it on Broadway. Which part of the show do you personally have to physically push yourself where it drains you? Oh my God, down once more. That is a lot of work because you have to keep singing and then you have to row the boat and you have to be tormented and you have to be pained, Lord above. Um, have you tried chicken and beer? Absolutely. Favorite book? Probably The Great Gatsby for many reasons. The World Tour Mask looks a bit like the Russian. They have both have blue at the edge. It's, it's all the same color, color scheme in terms of touring productions. Would you do Wicked? Maybe when I'm like 70. But otherwise there's no... There's nothing for me in there. When was your first ever singing performance? I was playing in my school, my, my nursery school um, production of Robin Hood, and I was Prince John, and I sang a song about my horse. And then we both skipped around. Ach, Auntie Wes is here. Now, everybody on this Insta Live, Auntie Wes is one of the funniest, hilarious people on Instagram. You have to check him out. Hands down. Hands down. He makes me laugh uh, like that. Like, tongue out laughing. Too good. Um, what time do you wake up in the morning? Uh, nine o'clock. 
Saturdays and Sundays, and the rest of the time. Christopher Reddy, my God, which was your favorite Northcliffe High School performance? Probably me and my girl. That was great fun, because I was an absolute whore for applause in that. Um, do you listen to El Devo? Um, I, yeah, on and off. Ball, ball, blah, blah, blah. So yeah. Okay, three, three, three questions and then I have to go. So go on, hit me. What's a scary moment in Phantom? The high note in Music of the Night. Do you like spice? Hello. Oh, sorry. I'll be there. I'll come to you now. No, I, I, I've got Caitlin in 10 minutes. No, that's all right. I'd kill 10 minutes. I'll, I'll come after. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Um, that was the director. I wanted to give me notes, and instead I'm doing it Insta Live. Hilarious. Um, can I watch? <laughs> Fans. Oh God. Oh Wesley. Wesley, 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 Wesley. Oh. Um come on, last two last questions. Let's just do it. Come on. God funny. Yen. Break mm. Come on. Let's have a question. Like it like a like a cool question. If you want to scratch inside your mask, what do you do? Um, will the World Tour ever post the show on YouTube or make a DVD? Think about that in terms of what you're asking. Should we film the show and then put it on a platform that's free for everybody forever? That would kill the business. And you can never, ever get that feeling that you get in a theatre on film. Let the show be, be what people go and watch, not a, not a link. Then we're not doing theatre anymore. Does that make sense? T-shirt size, probably Korean triple XL, something like that. Yeah. Oh, ever sneeze during a performance of a song? Can I tell you, I had a panic attack today during um, Point of No Return because I, I, I just put on some cologne and I put the hood down and I started going, uh, 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 and it was just, just terrible, just terrible. And I didn't know what I was going to do. So, yeah. Um, any tips for young actors wanting to get into the theatre? Stop trying to fit your path according to someone else's. Everybody has an opinion about whether you're too young or whether you are right for a part or blah, 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 whether you should even try. Don't listen to them. They have no say in what you do. So, yeah. Uh, I think the clothes in the play look very heavy. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, proper, they're proper costumes, let me tell you. So, yeah. But... Um, yeah, everybody, that's that's kind of it for me today. Um, I, I have to go get, I have to go put this into the mic pack to get new new batteries and all that. And then I'm going to, um, what am I going to do? I'm going to get some more coffee. I'm going to touch up my makeup. Uh, Sydney is asking any performances in South Africa coming up. I'm afraid not. I, I really wish that was the case, but. Um, yeah. So, yeah, everybody keep well. Um, stay safe. Keep wearing your masks. Be kind. Don't be racist. You know, all of that stuff. Uh, it's, it's important to keep that in mind. It's kind of crazy that we even have to say that, but it's, it's important. Shania wants me to say bye to her as well. I think you're being a bit greedy now. That's just my opinion. Um... 
but yeah, everybody keep well, lots of love, and uh, I suppose, as is always, see you soon. See you, everybody.